APD is releasing new details about a case where officers shot at a man before police say he took his own life. And police say that man should not have had guns after police took 16 from him in November under a red flag order. News 13's Natalie Wattis is live at APD headquarters downtown. Natalie. Police say 40 year old Matthias Wincoop died of a self inflicted gunshot wound after aiming his weapon at police. A warning the details in this story are graphic. It was a call of desperation to 911 from 40 year old Matthias Wincoop on February 1st, with Wincoop threatening to hurt himself. Just over an hour later, he made another call to APD. I've, I've been seeking out help for my alcoholism. And unless I got 10 to 20 K, I'm not going to get that help. Police say Wincoop was also drinking and had guns in his apartment, and even described prior run ins with police. APD says he previously tried to get officers to shoot him. Just after three, officers arrived at Puerta del Sol Apartments on McMahon. Officers there learned of Wincoop's history before interacting with him. APD says they spoke with Wincoop for 20 minutes, trying to de-escalate the situation. Despite an extreme risk protection order against him from state police, Wincoop had a rifle and handgun. Drop the gun! Around four o'clock, Wincoop reversed the truck, and officers fired two shots at Wincoop, one hitting the window in the truck. A minute later, another gunshot rings out from inside the truck, and then it races into a wall. Mr. Wincoop did uh, die on scene. Oh my, has determined at this preliminary stage he died of a single self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. No other gunshot wounds were detected. Individuals suffering through mental health crisis should be given the resources and mandated to go through the resources. Uh, and I think that's where there's a big gap is where these mandates are. Police say they don't believe the two rounds they fired at Wincoop struck him at all. Back to you. All right, thank you, Natalie. Wincoop had a rifle and a handgun in his truck when he died. Police think the rifle is a ghost gun and say the handgun was sold to him by a coworker in 2022 who is now facing a misdemeanor charge for selling the gun without performing a background check.